Oh man, welcome back everybody. I better get to Marshall Johnson before it's too late. My name is Ed. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. We're going to check out Marshall Johnson and find a, a mission. Hanging Bonnie McFarlane. Yeah! Oh, I love this one! All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum! Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> I should update my gun soon. I keep forgetting about that. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got the thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! Um... What do we do? We do as he says. I think it's nighttime. Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. What? I don't know her anything. She owes me a lot. Hey guys, can we just, um, what if we don't do anything? What, let's go play some poker. I'll teach you Sorry. For the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick oh, we're going now? Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Unless I do. Yeah. Where are we going, guys? Hey, I might need a new gun. All right, following the marshal. When the federals interfere in our affair. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Come on. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke's Williamson's right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. You wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. 
Can we talk about the fact that that guy said good afternoon? They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. Oh, backstory. What's this supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. Only a coward has behind a pig. Are we there yet? You think you're a man, do you? Ew. Oh, I know I am. Sir. Across the bridge! Not far to go now! Yeah. Hey, that guy tried to run me off the bridge. You jerk. I'll run you off. How you like whoop whoops, whoops, sorry. Easy there. John. You'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Can we do this in the daytime, please? Lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear I'm going to shoot you in your hat. In the rear. Oh, that's where you want it? Maybe All right. She won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fillers. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the. Our fight, fight. Oh. Everyone's getting shot in the butt. I better hide. I'm hurting. Okay. I don't know if anybody's there or not. I'm just running. Everybody's getting shot in the butt tonight. Where is she, you bastards? Where'd you go? Return to Marshall Johnson. I'm shooting people. I'm shooting their horse. You're making a big mistake, friend. Yeah, fight my way to Bonnie is right. Why would I return to Marshall Johnson? He's not even helping out. Where's Bonnie, you sons of bitches? Bad news, sir. We're going to die. Bonnie, we're coming! Man, I can't see anybody. It's too dark out at nighttime. 
Okay, let's go. One, two, three, go. Wee. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie. No more free work from me. Fight your way to Bonnie. Whoop, whoop, hide. Oh, I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. Okay. I'm not red anymore. Ouch! You! Knucklehead! You're gonna be fine, Bonnie! Oh, look at that. Look at that. I did that on my own. You ain't outlaws. You're idiots. Yeah. Jax. Come on, dude. What are you aiming at? Now what? Now what? You use this thing. You fool. Okay. If they're not coming out, then I'm gonna go get the, go get them. Oh, look at him run. Look at him run. Untie Bonnie. Oh man, Bonnie, I'm enjoying this. Now you depend on me, Bonnie. I'm gonna go get some money before Bonnie can get it. It's probably going to be the only reward I get for helping her, so I got to get whatever I can from these guys. Because all I'm going to get for Bonnie... Oh, Mr. Marston, you sure did take a long time. Boy, these these outlaws you hang out with, I told you they're horrible people, and you're just one of them, Mr. Marston, aren't you? You're horrible. Can you um, untie me, please? Mr. Marston, you're so horrible. Yeah, I got your horrible right here, Bonnie. It's called me looting bad guys. Pretty horrible, huh? Right in front of your face. Ah, oh, darn it. I didn't mean to do that. Buddy, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever. What the hell took you so long, you stupid man? I told you. You weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm going to lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> Did I not tell you she was going to complain about being rescued? Called it! Ah. Ungrateful. Alright, you guys. Well, thanks for watching. As I run around and... Now somewhat known around the frontier, costs less to convince others, officers of the law, to turn a blind eye. Alright, well, I'm going to run around here and collect from the dead... But uh, when we come back, we're going to continue these adventures. I guess the only thing on the map now is a W. So I'm probably going to run around. I'm probably going to find myself a um, a gun shop and maybe see about... Uh, um, oh, he's above me. Maybe getting a new gun or up uh, upgrading what I do have. So, um, yeah. Uh, until then, until we meet again, I'll let you guys know when we come back, by the way, uh, what it was I did. And, uh, yeah, I will talk to you soon. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're enjoying these, be sure and give them some likes. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll keep these coming for you. And uh, we will see you next time. So, thank you, thank you again for watching. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.